Got with me the LG G2 and let's talk about the software features. What I love about this is the knock-on feature. What you do is just you just have to double tap on the screen and the screen will turn on. So you've got to just unlock it and you're able to use it. I find this very useful because sometimes when my phone is lying on the um, on the table, there's no way of accessing the but the unlock button at the back. So that's when the knock knock uh, the knock on function is useful. Yes, and the other question that I oh, that many people always ask is how do you screen capture? Uh, same with all Android phones, the screen capture is done by uh, pressing the uh, on button as well as a separate button. Perhaps in this case, it uh, in the case of LG, the screen capture is done by pressing the on button as well as the down arrow. So what you do is, what I will always do is to have my fingers in between these two buttons and I'll just click it for say about two seconds. For instance, I want to take a screen capture of this home screen. What I do is just put my fingers in between uh, the two buttons and what I do is just click it and I've got a screen capture. Okay, the other method is um, what I have here uh, is the memo button. I put it at the home screen so what I do is just press this and that would be my screen capture. I can save it over here. What what I like about this is that you can make memos on uh, this uh, quick screen capture on the memo and on the memo pad. Uh, you can switch it to a memo pad or you can take it as a, a screen capture with annotations like a hey, I want you to look at that app yeah so what you do is just have to press save and it will save in your gallery yep there you go you've already saved your screenshot in the gallery together with the annotation okay that's the two ways of screen capturing in LG G2 and how about multitasking well this um, LG G2 has a special feature of multitasking that is called the uh, queue slide so you can activate it or deactivate it and what you have here is all the common use apps uh, like internet calculator you can um, you can multitask two items at a time for instance if you're browsing the internet uh, you can have a small window at the side here and let's say you need your calculator to be side by side um, yeah, so your calculator will be at the bottom here while you can browse your uh, internet browser over there. Yep, so you can have a few items going on at the same time. And let's say you just want to um, full screen on your internet browser, what you do is just uh, click on the button at the top left and, and you get it as a big screen. Okay, that's one of the multi multitasking features. Another one is called slide aside. So what you do is just use three fingers and slide it to the side, and meaning your app is safe at the side. So let's say um, you want to open your WhatsApp, and you can also put it to the slide aside. You can save up to um, three apps at the same time. So you have three apps at the side so if you want to call back all the previous three apps what you do is swipe with three fingers and you can see your app there you can open up one or you can save this um, the app to the side so let's say you want to close all of them you just have to swipe up or down to close the apps it's useful if you want to have a, a fast function instead of the long press of the home button for the task manager. Yeah, that is one. And one more, a um, few more items is that this phone do not have an SD card, external SD card slot. So I find the um, LG Cloud is quite useful because uh, it will auto backup all my files, like my photos and my videos, into LG Cloud which is quite convenient.
So whatever photos that you take, um, let's say you've got not enough space in your phone, all you've got to do is just delete them and you already uh, know that it has already been saved in LG Cloud. It works like Dropbox as well. It's 5 gigabyte, gig gigabytes free for you to use. Another feature is the um, for insufficient space, what you can do is wireless storage. This is useful if you forgot to bring your um, connector, your U mi micro USB to your PC. So what this does is it activates your wireless storage. So what you got to do in your computer is just type this in your web address and voila, you are able to see in uh, so see all your files in your computer. But if you're using Mac like me, let me show you how to do it. So what you've got to do is go to your Mac and you go to the um, the finder and you have to press command K and this box will pop up so in this case what you do is you um, type in your address your IP address in the box there whereby it says server, ad server address so what you type is smb semicolon slash slash and the IP address and all you got to do then is connect and you'll be, you come to this page and what you got to do is just to type in your username and password which in this case is my okay all you got to do is click enter it will take around a few seconds to load and yeah as you can see it's connecting to all the files in my phone and my phone's uh, internal files and voila you can see from here it shows you all the files in your phone it will take quite a while yeah so as you can see you can view all your photos in your phone and just drag it to your um, desktop to your home desktop or to your office desktop whenever you have a common Wi-Fi address for instance you want this file to be in your computer so what you do is you just oops <laughs> you just drag it out yeah as you can see the file is being copied right now over here to my desktop so you do not you do not need a cable anymore. Okay, let's get back to the phone. You can update um, the menu bars at the bottom, but you can um, customize it to any way you like it. All you got to go, all you got to do is go to to go to the system settings, front touch buttons, and you can change. You can have three menu buttons, you can have four. For me, I love four because I can screen capture and do uh, some memo notes on it, which is quite good. And this phone is also equipped with, uh, you can equip it with the latest Google Now. Um, all, all you got to do is just um, slide up from the home, home button, and you get to Google Now. What I've, do, what I've done with mine is that I've install the latest version of um, the uh, Google APK so that it can understand um, voice recognition. For instance, I do not have to press this mic anymore to actually search for anything. I just have to say, okay Google, what is the date today? And it will give me the date. I do not need to um, press this button anymore. Uh, let's try. Okay, Google, how old is Barack Obama? And okay, there you go. Um, it also understands if you ask second question, you do not have to repeat his name again. All you got to ask is, okay, Google, how tall is he?
it understands that I'm asking how tall is Barack Obama since the previous questions I've, I've already asked about him. Yeah, so that's all I've got for LG. Uh, for the next review, I'll talk about LG apps and look out for it. See ya!